but it'll be very similar to the last one. Not a bad way to round off the night, Johnny. You know what, I, I want, if I didn't have a dodgy leg, I'd have run out of it. It was so <laughs> nerve-wracking. I, I think this one is going to be a cracker. Prosker, I think he, he became complacent. I'm sure you could run even with a dodgy leg. <laughs> <laughs> Can hope out with Prosker again after his 12-round majority decision first time around. Let's find out. John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had to bring you this rematch. Eddie Hearn for Matram Sport proudly presents 12 rounds of boxing for the European Middleweight Championship. Sponsored by Betfair, don't settle for less, in association with Northfire, Scots, and welcome to Yorkshire. And a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live here on Sky Sports HD. And the viewers joining us in Poland, Chin Dobry Dobry Vecho Vitami on the N Sport. This is Fight Night Live! All the officials appointed by the EBU and the British Boxing Board of Control. Supervisor Charlie Giles. Our timekeeper at the bell is Colin Roberts. Our three judges, all from England, Phil Edwards, Howard Foster and Marcus McDonald. And the referee in charge of the action from Wellingborough, England, John Keane. And here we go. Introducing to you, firstly, the challenger fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with white, weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, 15 ounces, 25, 8 fight record, 27 wins, 20 inside the scheduled distance, and just one defeat. He comes to the ring as the former European middleweight champion from Red Hill. And fighting out of Poland, please welcome Rega Praksa. Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with gold, weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, 6 ounces, 20 fight record, 17 wins, one inside the scheduled distance, and three losses. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning and defending European middleweight champion, making his first defense from the fighting town of Marfa Tidville. He is the pride of the valleys. It's Kerry Hall. So let's get the action underway then, Sky Sports fans and Nnet Sport joining us in Poland. Here we go, 12 rounds of boxing for the European Middleweight Championship. Oh. Come here. You both received your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect. Shake hands. Here we go again. Two thrillers so far tonight. Thrice would be nice. Fascinating rematch for the venerable old European middleweight title which produced a major upset on the Brook Hatton bill here in March as Kerry Hope was seen as a no-hoper and he derailed the prestigious looking pole Gregor's Proxa likeable lad from Wales who's grabbed his opportunity but can he keep up there can he retain the belt repeat or revenge do you think jim you know, i think hope has a great chance of repeat i mean he's not the favorite he's probably not entitled to be the favorite the prox is not a special fighter he's been very carefully brought, brought along i mean a, a big win winning the title against sylvester but he's not a special fighter i don't believe the Prosser can box as badly as he did before so in my eyes that makes him the favorite but uh, look, hope he has the confidence to know he's done it before and something you've done before, well, logic tells you you can do it again. Glenn was telling us on ringside that Proxer had real trouble with the southpaw style of, of Kerry Hope, that it gave him all sorts of difficulties when Hope got into a rhythm. But it was a close one first time round. Proxer has power and he won the European title in terrific fashion himself, stopping Sebastian Sylvester in three rounds. So it was a real shock when he lost it in his first defence. Well, they're both uh, throwing kind of wild punches in the early stages here, so they're both a little bit maybe too fired up. Crocs are obviously annoyed, uh, feeling that he, maybe he did enough to, to win the, the first meeting. So they're both just going to have to settle down and get a bit more quality into their work. It's kind of wild and woolly at the moment. Oh, good, good, good shot. Oh, that's that was a good shot. Yeah. And body shot as well. Decent power. That's a bit naughty. 
You hope it was forced to hold on there, grab hold. I think he was hurt by that. Has been stopped before a couple of times. Carry out by Matthew Hall and Taz Jones, but he's an improved fighter since then. I think the big problem for Hope, we're up in the middleweight division and he doesn't really have a lot of punching power. That, and the, you get away with that in certain divisions up to a level, but middleweight is really, you have to command the respect of an opponent. And that's the big problem for him tonight because Proxer will be fired up. Just one knockout on the Hope slate. Bags of heart, determination, and ability to good resistance. If he can't hurt Proxer, he's going to have to outbox him and outbox him clearly. I mean, fighters who don't punch, then they're always in terrific shape because they're expecting fights to go the distance. But as I say, in the middleweight division, you want to have that little bit of snap in your punches. Proxer's finding it in his. Yep, fast start from Proxer, another left hand. Hope just has to grab hold. Look at the look on Proxka's face, he's That's loving a cut. There's a cut as well, right eye. And I think it was a punch that caused that for Kerry Hope. It was a punch, it was a punch, did it? OK. Right, Paul. Come on, you've, you've took his best shots, haven't you? Yeah. You First time around, it was Gregor's right. Proxer right. who was uh, cut badly. This time, <laughs> Kerry Hope, right eye, first round. And it was a difficult one for the Welshman. And it was a punch that caused the cut, so if he can continue, his title has gone. It was a punch that caused it with no clashes of heads. Fairy tale story, Kerry Hope becoming a European middleweight champion. No one expected it. But can he keep at this level? Remember, Gregor's Proxer was unbeaten before Hope outpointed him. 27 victories now in 28 fights. Proxer and Many people believe you know, he was a world star of the future. That always just felt it was very, very carefully handled. I mean, the fighters are handled as carefully as that. I wonder if there's an underlying reason, but he's full of confidence here. You can look at the body language, the expression on his face. And unfortunately, we haven't seen any structure in Hope's boxing at the moment. He's been caught with silly punches, and uh, he doesn't seem to have a plan. It's been taken away from him. Proxer has a big support here. Based in Surrey most of the time. From Jovozno in Poland. And the Polish TV are here. They still believe in him as he smiles. He says he overtrained for Hope first time round. Yeah, well, I wish uh, some fighters at the end of a good fight would just put their hands up and say, the other guy won it, fair enough, I'm fed up with excuses. Good left hand there, Jim. Yep, yep, we get through with that. And to be honest, I don't believe in overtraining. I mean, his staleness is a mental complaint. All you need is a rest if you've trained hard. Tell you what, he looks a different fighter from March here, Proxer. Bursting with confidence, getting through Hope's guard, shaking him early. I think this could be revenge. Yeah, it's just the body language of Pros. Look at that, just leading with the left hand there. Just as a kind of a strut about his work. He's loving this. He's proving a point. That's what he's here to do. And he's quite happy that he's doing that at the moment. Seen some flashy stuff now. A lovely jab. Good movement from Proxer. Got 20 knockouts in his 27 victories. Good chin, Hope, but has been troubled by body shots. I mean, Hope really has to tighten things up. He's throwing wild punches himself. He wants to tighten up and just maybe, if things don't work for a couple of rounds, accept that. Oh, oh, what a shot that was. Beautiful punch and body shots. Followed it up and a left hand and Hope's in trouble. And he holds on, might go down here in the second. Well, he proved a decent chin, but he can't keep taking punches like that. See, as I was saying, there's no structure, there's no defence. He's throwing crazy punches, taking chances, and he's paid the, the penalty there. Terrific that he didn't go over from that, because that was a that punch was bang on the button. Legs still shaky of Kerry Hope. You said this won't let him. Yeah, get through these two, three rounds. Okay, you're just gonna be more busy with that jab. Pal, listen, 
He's standing in front of him. Gary. Yeah. You're drawing into a fire. What he wants you to do, we don't want that. In and out, in and out, what we said. Let him miss. Yeah. Any confidence so he, comes he picked, picked up the winning the European title has surely just gone straight out the window. Yeah, well, they had a bad opening round, but I mean, you can see the defences here, they're wide open. They're, he needs to tighten things up, he needs to get through a few rounds, and then hope for a bit of success. But he's trying things from long range, trying wild punches, and he's been punished for it. And Prox's a little bit unorthodox himself in some of the punches he throws, but there's certainly some snap behind him. And Hope did well not to wind up on the floor in the second round there. Darren Barker's just alongside us at ringside. He comes back on September the 8th and may well tackle the winner of this. First signs, the first two rounds. Looks like it's going to be Gregor Proxer. Got a long way to go. Yeah, and I think Hope has to remember it's a long way to go, so don't blow everything out in the early stages, don't do silly things, don't get yourself hurt. So just work away, try to find a way to get yourself into the fight, there's plenty of time. He has found a fresh appetite. I'm teaming up with Carl Ince, another of our real improving trainers on the northwest scene. Proxer just ragged there, better with a body shot. And he can be like that, bag yeah. of tricks. Yeah, I mean, that, that's his style, he's all over the place. You know, he, he doesn't settle down, but the punches are landing, and the, the left-hand lead from that southpaw stance is, is landing. And he's still got that look of a man who knows he has everything under control. Well, this is as good as I've seen him, actually. Well, he's got 12 rounds to do it, and he knows Hope can't really punch. That's a big, big... Swaying confidence there for him. Yep, and the fact that he can afford to take chances, Hope can't because he's already been hurt. But Hope not able to make any impression. Proxa seems able to land the punches any time he chooses. Rapid jab from the Southpaw style. Proxa in those red trunks, red and white, that he usually wears, the all blue of Kerry Hope. Well, they've done a good job on the cut, thankfully, that uh, hasn't been a factor. Hope tries a left hand of his own. Attempts to get the jab going. He needs a rhythm, doesn't he, Hope? Yeah, I'd like to see him tighten things up a little bit. The chin down, the hands up, and see if he can maybe edge himself into range. But he's throwing wide punches that perhaps I can see from a mile away. Chin down, the hands up, and see if he can get himself into punching range. Crisp and clean. Some of these punches from Proxer, and they weren't last time. He looks all at sea at times. Cuts reopened. Now, this is good stuff from Proxer. I mean, it's unconventional, but it's as good as I've seen him. And, uh, Certainly, he's getting the result at the moment. Well, we have seen him on a fair few undercards here over the years. Proxer, nice uppercut. He's dealt with plenty of our British opposition. The preliminary fighters. Do what we've done in the gym. Hey, listen, yeah. Gary. Welcome back yeah. to what's in been a out, fabulous in night in Yorkshire yeah, 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 of boxing. It's Carl Ince with Kerry Hope. Don't move, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Stay where you are, stay where you are. Come on, son, mate, where you are. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It's already been one of those draining type of nights. I bet Gavin Reese, Derry Matthews, Kel Brook and Carson Jones are all having a little rest now. We could do with one. Yeah, well, I tell you, no, the nights of boxing at this. My energy levels are up. <laughs> My adrenaline's flowing. It's been a terrific night. And we have to say, but for Kerry Hope, an achievement. When you look at the, the, the talent we have domestically in the middleweight division, what a terrific achievement, winning the European title. We always knew hanging on to it was going to be really tough. And that's how it's proving tonight. It's warming up now. Props are really planting his feet. Looking for the body and head of Hope. Just grimaces there. 
That, that was quality there from Fox, and that really was impressive. Doesn't quite have the skill set to be able to deal with Proxer on this sort of form. It really is a good division domestically, the middleweights, as Jim was saying. Darren Barker here, Martin Murray, Matthew Macklin, Andy Lee, of course, from Ireland. We'd love to see all those guys fight each other. Cobb's oh, getting his jab and working, finding the target a bit more often here. Maybe props are just becoming a little bit sloppy there, just overconfident. Again, the fans cheer on props up. He's busier now, Hope. You have to wonder if they want to move Proxa on to a higher level with that defence. You, you wonder if he will be caught out. I mean, as I said, he has been pretty carefully matched throughout his career. But at times he does look class. It's still dangerous with that left hand, Proxa. And again, and a head bump as well for good measure. Hope's punches are still too wide. Not really much hope of landing. Proxka really in the driving seat. That was better from Hope. The problem's always going to be can he deter Proxka? Slow him down. Good left hand from Proxka. Not moving his head enough, Hope, for that. But he's plenty game enough. Yeah, and he's still looking lively, still plenty of energy in what he's doing. What he's doing is not working, but there's plenty of energy in it. So if he gets himself past the halfway stage, it looks likely. And who knows what the second half will bring, but another round to Proxa. When you're taking these shots, yeah, the cooler, the quicker, pal. Right? Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, a little jump, bit better jump, from Kerry Hope. Yeah, yeah, but he was getting to range, uh, using the jab a little bit more, but uh, again, the, the punches that count. Another round where they, they were coming from the other fellow. Second out, round five. Here's the fifth round, European 11 stone, six belt on the line. Kerry Hope's first defence against the man he conquered. Hope from Bertha Tidville, famous fight town in South Wales. Produced Howard Winston, Eddie Thomas, Johnny Owen, of course. And he's really proud to be the holder of such a prestigious title, Kerry Hope. Can he hang on to it? Gregor's Proxer has looked pretty good so far. Ragged at times, as always, but he's delivered much better punches than Hope. Yeah, another round, but Hope, to his credit, he's tried to tighten things up a little bit here. His hands are up higher, he's trying to get himself closer. He just he's been beaten to the punch. Proxa so far just looks a little bit too good for him. He'll be so determined, Kerry Hope, to keep at this level. I mean, he's catapulted himself into world class. He's ranked number four by the WBA. That's amazing from where he was six months ago. Well, it's usually the WBC that put a value on the European title, but I mean that that uh, really is flattering. He's, uh, he's number four in Britain, probably. Nine by the IBF, seven by the WBO, 14 by the WBC. Pretty impressive, seeing as he was out of the picture a year ago. Yep, he's got his boxing together a bit better here. He's looking with more structure about it. The chin's down, the hands are up, he's edging forward. This is what we're looking for. Blood to the nose of Proxer. Just tends to drift at times. Maybe losing concentration. An on-top fighter, Proxa. See, I think there's a lot of wasted energy in what Proxa does, you know, swinging all over the place. He doesn't set himself. There's a lot of movement that's not needed. And over the 12 rounds, uh, that can be a bit of a problem. And, uh, he's not really looking dominant in this round. This is better from Hope. Sticking in there, Kerry Hope. 
Try to launch a right hook. Still looks fresh, Proxa. But you're right, the, uh, the arms, the windmills, they catch up with him. Better from Hope there. Good left hand. Well, this has been a decent round for Hope. Looking full of energy, which is going to be required. So if he gets himself into the, the second half of this, who knows? I think we've seen everything that Proxa can do. He's not going to get any better. So if Hope is coping with it, and he's fit enough to start making an impression, but this is a close round. Yeah, Hope might have nicked that. Pretty. What a very good and bright start from Gregor's Proxer. But Kerry Hope has got um, heart, belief, stubbornness and fitness, Jim. Yeah, and toughness, and, 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 and he's getting his boxing together. That was much better from him. You know, he was shaping up like a boxer, getting the chin down, the hands up, and, and moving forward, you know, constructively. A little bit more of a plan in that round. I thought maybe he just nicked it. There's still a long way to go. The two southpaws who met on March the 17th and do so again for the European belt. Good right hand from Proxer. He's the puncher in there. But so far, you know, Kerry Hope has lived with it. Yeah, he's moved up a gear Proxer. He's putting punches together again, and that's what the Hope can't cope with. When Hope's allowed to make the first move, it looks okay, but uh, when Proxa sets off first, he can't cope with it. Both turned way back in 2005. Very different careers. Proxa well looked after. As Jim said, maybe even protected. Kerry Hope not. He's fought out in the States. He's had it tough. Closing the distance, Kerry Hope. This is a good time to make a little move where there's still plenty of time to turn things around. Just show Proxa that, uh, you know, take that strut away from his boxing and that grin away from his face. He's maybe doing that now. Needs rounds though, doesn't he, Hope? Yep, he does. But he's got the jab working and he's stepping in with us. But not the accuracy that's required. Proxa's still the one producing the accuracy at the moment. Prox are already much better than he was first time around. Nice work, but funneling hope side to side. The sort of awkward style he's got. Fast movement. Yeah, but the fact that Hope takes what he's got and just keeps walking through, that can become demoralising. I expect Prox will be in great shape after slipping up the first time. If he's not, then he could be found out. He's a good shot, yeah. Just more variety, class. Is there a mark around the ear of Kerry Hope? Something? Yep, the ear, as well as the uh, cut eye. That's a strange one. Yeah, I wonder if the inside of the glove has maybe torn the ear a little bit. Maybe a, a cuffing punch has landed. It is an unusual one. The head's coming together there. Time out here. John Keane's just going to have a little look at the ear. I think John Keane will be making sure the blood's not coming from inside the ear, that it's on the flat, you know, it's on, on the ear lobe. And that's the case, it's not, it's not a worry, but if blood was coming from inside the ear, then that's a different matter altogether. Doctor's up there, Jim. He says it's fine. Just precautionary from the experienced referee, John Keane. And back to the action. Hope driving his shots through. Right hand and a smile from Proxer. Let's get over to Ed, who's got Darren Barker and Spencer Oliver with him. Well, Darren, you're spying on two prospective opponents here. How do you think they look? You know, I just think both of them seem to be neglecting the basics of time. You know, they seem to, you know, if I think this is European level, you know, I don't. You know, I'm watching this and I'm not too overly impressed. I mean, you know, I think 
thinking of myself being there as a possible opponent, I just I can't see myself losing. Spencer, two southpaws are often yeah. quite messy together, but this wasn't the way last time. No, Proxa has made amends for the last time. He, he's, he's done his homework, he's keeping his distance, he's picking his shots well. As Darren said, he doesn't really seem to be going through the gears. Proska's winning comfortably. One move behind at the moment, but you know, you feel that Proska's going to win this one. And you think Proxa will win it? I think Proxka, he's looking the more dangerous with that left hand. Sometimes <laughs> loans up a bit too much of it, but I think he'll win. Yeah, Proxa was a favourite before this, despite losing the first time around. But it was close, wasn't it, the uh, first encounter? It wasn't wide to hope. No, and I didn't feel that Proska could ba box as badly as that again. And that, that's what kind of nudged him uh, as the favourite in my eyes. But to be honest, you know, I haven't seen a great structure from Hope on this one. Uh, he's getting into the fight a little bit more now, but you know, he just didn't seem to know what it was about in the early rounds. Had a good win over Tony Hill, Kerry Hope, before beating Proxer, who's just up the pace here in the seventh, second half of this European middleweight title. He wants to regain that crown. He wants to tackle Darren Barker in September. And he's putting some meat into these punches now, Proxer. You know, Darren was saying he doesn't use the basics. You know, it's that kind of queer style punches from all angles. But there are little times when he pulls himself together. There you go. Beautiful, Beautiful right punch. Hand. Lovely shot. Hope hurt. Just disorganised, he's going to have to get himself together quickly here because there's a lot of time in the round, Hope. I was just saying, there are times when he pulls himself together, gets his hands up, you know, he, he looks classy, he's had the gum shield yeah. come out there. Yeah. Gum shield out. Not always been clean and pretty, this fight, but still plenty of leather being thrown. And at another pace, they've all been at pace tonight, haven't they, these fights? Yeah, but and the, the referees in every fight haven't had to get involved too much, but we haven't seen Messi clinching, you know, the, the, the styles have all gelled, it's been a terrific night's boxing, and this is a nice little finisher. Yeah, Darren didn't seem overly impressed with either of these two, of course, he was in with uh, the best South Four middleweight in the world in Sergio Martinez. Body shot from Proxa, he's putting some spite into the shots now. Hope looks hurt there. Trying to right a wrong here, Gregor's Proxa. He's dominating at the moment, that's the only first time we've said he's doing that, he's actually dominating. He said he overtrained last time, he must have trained very hard and right this time because he looks terrific. Fitness-wise, you see the, the blood coming again from Hope's ear. Now he looks in terrific shape this time. Good left hand again. Just can't miss with that shot. Hope taking too many of these. No defence and no real head and shoulder movement. Is it back to reality for Kerry Hope? Well, it's been a terrific achievement, which can never be taken away from him. And he's giving it everything again, trying to hang on to his title. He's putting up a show. But he just doesn't have the experience, I think, at this level to produce it again. It was an upset, which he doesn't seem capable of doing again. You're standing in front of him. When he hits you like that, you've got to get over him. I'm walking mm. forward. Yeah? You caught him then. Did he still bite and let him come on to you? I think it's draining away from Kerry Hope, this. Yeah, well, there was a little point in that round where uh, Proxa was actually dominating the action. Hurtful punches, body shots, switching to the head. I mean, that was class. Every now and again, we've just seen a little bit of class from him. I'm never going to have to change my mind about him. I've just thought he's always been so well protected away down the bottom of Bills, hidden away. But uh, beginning to flower a bit, but there you can see that the stats tell the story. Over double landed. Good success rate for Gregor's Proxa, certainly didn't look like that at this stage back in March. Second out, round eight. What can Kerry Hope do? Time running out. His first European middleweight title defence. Great story, so many people in the trade so happy for him, but 
There goes Proxa. Uh, let's give him some credit too. He's gone back to the drawing board. He's worked out what he did wrong last time, and he's uh, doing a much better job here. That's good from Hope. He's got to make the first move, Hope. Difficult count on this fellow because the punches are coming from weird directions at times. And that left hand really works well for Poxer. Trying to snap out the jab, Kerry Hope. stuff from him now. Hope trying to chase him down but then gets grappled with a couple. Winning comfortably here, Proxer. Yeah, razzle dazzle too. He looks physically strong as well, Proxer. So I mean did Proxa Darren Barker is a fight I would look forward to and it's a fight that can be made. Yep, I think that'd be a good match if this carries on. All right, and down goes Hope heavily at the end of the eighth round. Oh, his legs almost have gone. I think John Key might stop this here and now. He's down and one, he doesn't know where he is really. It's all over. Revenge sweet for Gregor's Proxa, who regains his European middleweight title. And he is absolutely elated. He's down on his knees and Kerry Hope. Well, he was outclassed and outboxed for most of it. And then a thunderous shot. And his fairy tale, it is back to reality for poor Kerry Hope, former European middleweight champion now. This guy's back, Proxa. Yeah, without a doubt, and I think it's a good finishing punch. I think it's the kind of punch if Kerry Hope had been well in the fight, if it had been a tough battle that he was maybe, you know, sharing the spoils, he could maybe have taken that punch and carried on. But I think everything was going against him. It was a gradual grind down, if you like. It was a terrific performance from Proxa. It's as good as I've seen him, and he showed some classy moves. He does some strange things. He does have an unusual style. We've seen plenty of successful fighters in the past having that. Tonight, tonight, they had come here with a job that had to be done, and they did it impressively. Look what it means to him and the Polish fans who've made the journey over, and the ones that are based around Surrey as well. He's got quite a following, Gregor's proxy. He's back, and I'll look forward to that fight if it can be made with Darren Barker because he got it right tonight against Kerry Hope. I mean, I was beginning to question, did he have the power on those shots because they were coming from the hip? Well, that answered the question. Bang on the chin, beautiful punch. Well, Hope was in the process of throwing a punch of his own, and you can see the look on his face. He looks to the corner, and he gets up, and the count of seven or eight, he goes back down onto the knee again. So I think that was all the signs that uh, John Keane needed to know. It was time to get him out of there. Kerry Hope knew the job was too big for him tonight. I think that he had been left with that impression in every round. Proxo was always a move ahead. He'd badly hurt him there. So I'm glad the referee called it off. Another very watchable fight. 
draining for these boxers tonight. Kerry Hope loses his European middleweight title. And Gregor's Proxer has it back. It's a celebration for the book, a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Roberts has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 59 seconds of the 8th round. Referee John Keane has stopped the contest with hope in no position to continue. Your winner and regaining the middleweight champion of Europe, the new champion from Poland, Gregor Proxa! He was dejected here in March when he lost his title to Kerry Hope. The revenge is sweet for Gregor's Proxa. We'll hear from him in a couple of minutes' time. And there's more from a busy bill here in Sheffield, including former British champion Lee Purdy takes on Chris Johnson. That's on the way. First fight was a classic. Second fight, one-sided beating. Gregor's Proxa the new European middleweight champion, the winner with Ed. Gregos, congratulations. What did that win mean to you? Um, this is, how can I tell you, something uh, we're missing for me very much. This last uh, fight with Kerry, it's, it was so ugly pain for me because inside I didn't feel that I lost. I respect him, he's a warrior. But uh, I know that my performance was very weak at, at this day, uh, like we spoke before the fight, yeah? And, but I was thinking fire. that I did enough to win the, 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 that fight. I couldn't sleep for more than one month, you can you believe it. I was waking up 2 o'clock a.m. I was walking in my, my, my city and I couldn't find myself how, how it's possible that I feel everything to win and I lost the fight. And. Uh, I say to Chris Barsky uh, to speak with Barry and uh, give me a rematch as quick as is possible because, you know, even my Won wife... Won the rematch. Darren Barker is here. Is that a fight you take next? It's not my, my, my case. I wanted to fight with Barker two years ago, three years ago, I don't remember. But this doesn't matter for me who will be next. I'm the European champion. It will be a big honor for me to fight with Barker. He's a very good boxer. And uh, I think that we can do a very, very good show because he's a very good skill boxer, you know. Well done tonight. Well done. Barry, one determined man after the defeat yeah. to Hope last time. It just shows you how much, how upset he was at the first one. He thought, he, he thought he'd, he'd won the fight. It was a close fight, but he proved in this performance that he can turn things around and he can produce form again when the pressure's on. And uh, he's unconventional, very successful the way he punches single shots, but he needs to put punches together in combinations if he's gonna fight at world level. Because, you know, certainly on that performance, I would pick any of the domestic lads to, to do a number on him. He's gotta get his hands up, he's gotta put punches together, and I think he lacks stamina. Darren Barker, they're talking about next. What sort of fight will we get there? I, I think Darren Barker, is a very stylish boxer. He did everything correct. He keeps his hands.